Valorant is one of Riot's most popular games and a strong competitor to CS2, but its network issues can leave more to be desired. My name is Yadullah, you are watching Candid.Technology and in this video we are talking about how you can fix packet loss issues in Valorant. Generally speaking, uh, issues with packet loss are caused because of internet connectivity problems and that's the first thing that we're going to check. As you can see, I am already connected to the internet and if I open up my network and type in fast.com which is a speed check website, you can see that it's not the fastest connection in the world but it's still good enough for me to be able to play Valorant. So make sure that your internet bandwidth isn't being hogged by someone on your network, that there are no downloads or any background programs running that can eat into your internet speed. Alternatively, it's also a good idea if you go ahead and check Valorant server status. To know how to do that, all you have to do is just search for Valorant server status and uh, it will take you to the Riot Games website. It's also called status.riotgames.com. I'll put up the link on the screen for you to understand. Okay, so yes, I want English. Um, scroll down, click on Valorant, select your region and language. And at the moment, there are no issues to report within the last 24 hours, which means it's most likely not an issue on Valorant's or Riot's end. So as I said before, if there are any background programs running that are hogging your internet bandwidth, you will not be able to run band uh, Valorant as well as your internet connection might allow you to. Now to do that, right click on the start menu and head over to the task manager. Now in here, click on this network option and this will show you all of the programs using your network uh, and how much speed they are consuming. Just close any tasks that are consuming a large amount of internet uh, of your internet bandwidth. If you have a download running, pause it. If you have uh, Discord or Edge running in the background, pause that as well. You can just use this end task button right here and that should fix the problem. Now, next up is changing your DNS settings. So uh, to do that, press the Windows key and search for the control panel. We'll open this up. In here, I need to go to the network and sharing center, as you can see right here. We'll click on it to expand. And now I need to click on the change advanced, uh, rather change adapter settings because those are the adapter settings that we're going to change. This will open a new window. Select your adapter from this uh, list. I'm using Wi-Fi, this one. So I will double click it. And this will now give me a new window. Now click properties. This will open another window. Uh, scroll down and uh, double click on the internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4 setting. Another window. Now here, select the use the following DNS server addresses. And now you can type in any free DNSs that will help you fix this problem. One thing that you can do to check what free DNS is the best to use is to simply use command prompt. Now, if I close this and uh, zoom out, now we can open command prompt. And now we can use the ping command to check what DNS server works best. So I will check Cloudflare and Google. So for that, we'll just type in ping 8.8.8.8, which is Google's DNS address. Ping it and you will see that I have uh, some ping times. So my average ping to Google's DNS is seven milliseconds. But if I go back here and do ping 1.1.1.1, which is uh, Cloud Cloudflare's DNS, I believe and run it again as you can see my ping is much worse on cloudflare than it is on google so right now the better option here would be to use google's dns settings um, so you can type in google's dns settings which is 8 8 dot not there 8 dot 8 8 dot 8 and then 8.8.4.4 i will also provide you with the cloudflare dns uh, settings on the screen right now so that you have both the options available for you once you're done with that just click the ok button uh, restart your router and then try launching valorant again it should fix your problem 
Now, while you're in adapter settings, another solution that you can try out, which we do not recommend using, is that you can disable IPv6. Uh, uh, it's a bit of a security issue and Valorant does not use IPv6 so it's going to rarely make uh, a difference in your gameplay experience but if you feel like uh, you need to grasp at every last straw you can try disabling this feature as well. Moving up you can try to reset your network settings if you believe that might be the problem. So once again, press Windows key plus I to open uh, Windows settings and I'm just going to search for network reset. Click on this and now you have uh, all of your network adapters coming up right here, but we're not interested in that. We're going to scroll all the way down and click on this network reset option. Now, as you can see, I have a button here with network reset and right this button saying reset now. Click this, wait for uh, the process to complete. You will have to reconnect to your Wi-Fi, so you'll have to enter the password again and it'll forget all the networks that there are. But this often fixes any problems caused by misconfiguration or things like that. And that can fix your packet loss issues on Valorant. Uh, last but not least, and we do not recommend doing this, is that you can try to open your TCP and UDP ports that Valorant uses via the firewall. So to do that, we'll just open the start menu and search for uh, Windows Defender Firewall. Just click on that setting there. All right, now you have a few options here. I'm going to click on advanced settings right here. Now you will see inbound rules and outbound rules. We are going to add inbound rules to this list. Uh, to do that, it's very simple. Just right click and add on, click on new rule. We'll wait for this to open up and the new rule wizard has now launched. What this does is that it allows you to feed new rules and create custom things. So I'm going to create a custom rule right here. I'm going to click next. Um, you can select the program path. So select the path for Valorant in here. Uh, I'm just going to ignore that and click all programs for now. Protocol type, we will select uh, TCP. And then we'll enter specific ports. And now you can copy paste the list of ports that I'll show on the screen and it will also be in the description below. So copy paste all those ports here. So I will just write, let's say the first port which is 2099. Click on next. And uh, now we can select both any IP address, any IP address because we cannot control the IP address that DHCP assigns to our PC. Click on next once again. Click on allow the connection. Click on next once again and uh, select all three domain private and public in the last step give your connection a name so let's say valorant tcp ports and type in description if you want and finally click finish now once you're done with this this will create a new rule and that should allow communication between valorant and its servers in a more optimized manner and that can potentially help fix the issue you're going to have to do the same thing with the UDP port. So once again, click on new rule and uh, follow this entire process. But once you're done with that, uh, reset, reset your network or restart your router and try playing Valorant again. That should fix the problem. But once again, do not do this uh, until you do not have any other options left because this can leave you vulnerable to different attacks from the internet. If you like these videos, consider subscribing, give us a thumbs up, press the bell icon and tell us in the comments below what more videos can we make for you or if you have any thoughts on this video, shoot a comment and I'll talk to you down below. If you want to know more about tech, visit our website candid.technology, follow us on social media, follow me on Instagram or Twitter and we'll see you in the next video.